It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins under the lights on Monday night. Let's go. Just about eight miles inland from the warm waters of the Atlantic, we are inside Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Good to be in the booth with my partner Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prime time because wide receivers love the spotlight as much as any position group in the league. And we got two guys who shine under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the games on the line, third down, red zone, got to have it moments. There is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, and they're just going to say, I dare you to stop them. These are two prime, elite wide receivers in the National Football League. Night game, prime time, they're looking to put on a show. The veteran, Jason Sanders, ready to get us started. And off we go from South Florida. Spears now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Take it early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. You'd love to see the biggest jump of a young quarterback's career, Mike, being between year one and year two. I mean, you think about what these young quarterbacks go through entering their rookie year. They have the entire pre-draft process. Then the idea of being drafted and going to a new organization and learning what it means to play quarterback in the NFL. Well, in year two, everything's not new. Everything's not a first experience. It allows them to just take a deep breath, play, develop, rely on what got you here. We see so many quarterbacks in year two really have their breakout campaigns and show, frankly, why they were the starter to begin with in their rookie year. Second and seven. Again, it's Pollard. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Pollard with a nice first down run, and the Memphis native returns to Tennessee after an impressive five-year stint with the Cowboys. He's coming off two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, and he should be a huge part of the solution and part of filling the hole left by Derrick Henry. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. His pass, but it's Chico Conquo. A pick up there of 19 yards. That's good for a Titan first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find the receiver, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. On second down, left. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. 
Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And that game with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. It's going to bring up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carry had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. That's going to be out of bounds. Well judged and spotted right at the 10-yard line. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. Leading this offense, their veteran quarterback. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. Here's first and ten. Throwing, Huntley. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Back to throw. Huntley. Catch made there. That's Smith. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. Here's Huntley. Taking off, he'll try to get there. A big play there on the scramble. 32 yards. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scramble, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. Hill brought in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play in this opening quarter. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And we're back to South Florida after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Hill brought in motion. Now faking the give. Into the hands of Berrios. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting to third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. But when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's second and two. Now the second-year man, Devon Achan. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. 
They've moved the ball well here, but now face third and two. Hill brought in motion. Now Huntley. That is brought in at the 10. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Big time pitch and catch there on third down to extend this drive. Feels like they've got to come away with six. You want to strike first. It'll go a long way in determining how the rest of this game plays out. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. Here's HN. A good blocking, and he's in. Come on, HN. Touchdown, Miami. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Jason Sanders on for the point after. He's got it. And the Dolphins will take a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Spears now to return it. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Titans offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. the shotgun Levis the left side into the hands of Hopkins second down and three now Levis to the former Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. First and 10 now from the 36. Here's Levis. Now a screen. Here's Pollard. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Tony Pollard, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And it's going to bring up a third down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. He's got his man. That's Boyd. 
and he will have a Titans first down. He has it by plenty as they keep the drive alive here on third and inches. From the gun, it's Levis. That is hauled in at the five. And he will get into the end zone. Chick Okonkwo. Touchdown, Titans. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will level things out at seven apiece. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Dolphins offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and 10. now that's to the outside he's got Smith 13 yards to start that drop and a quick first down this is such a critical moment in the game that middle four minutes the final two minutes of the first half and then the possession to come out of the halftime break so maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical see if you can get a drive starter see if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode in that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts. They stop it here with just under 40 seconds until halftime. They'll come up now for second down and four. It's a pistol snap for Huntley. Quickly to the outside and complete. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. Get the ball out of his hand. See a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Quick throw here is complete. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. In motion, it's Waddle. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Open man downfield, Tyreek Hill. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. Now it is first and goal.
to throw is Huntley. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Huntley. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Now Sanders on for the extra point. The kick is good, and the Dolphins will move out to a 14-7 lead. Coming close, and not much time left as this one is kicked away. From a yard deep, he's going to bring it out. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Not much room to operate there. He'll get only to about the 24. So we hit halftime here in South Florida, and the Dolphins are in the lead. As we head north to Orlando, we're going to join the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Devon Achan who's had the strong first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. They'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shop. The Dolphins' offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. to throw here to begin the drop. This one complete to Hill. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Well, any fear they might have had that they've come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window immediately back in the attack mode, continuing to take the fight to the defense. They're not content, Mike, here, just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that. 
They're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly. They'll run with a chip. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball, protect the lead, and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. No chance at all. He'll go down. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack. And we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. On the handoff, this is HM. Finds an alley to the 35. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' 17-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 31 yards. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. On play action, he'll set up to throw, and he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. Well, that's certainly one way to bounce back here defensively after giving up a huge explosive play on the previous snap to bounce back and come away with the sack. Now you find yourself in second and long. You can catch your breath, and the opportunity to get off the field has just gone up. Oh, he just does beat the play clock as he'll set up to throw. Got his man at the six. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. It's the most valuable real estate in football. And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. When you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. They'll run with HN. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. One more time, it's HM. He slams it in there, and he is in. Come on, HM. That his second touchdown tonight. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime, that other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. So, these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. Back with more Monday Night Football after this. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. A safe kick taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Titans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten.
Levis to throw. Complete Wrigley on the reception. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. To throw is Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Now, Levis. That's to the left side, caught by Ridley. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down, you get tackled just shy of the sticks, and now a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll go. Here's Levis. A throw right side taken in by Boyd. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Levis to throw it here on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. That's a gain of 16. This offense is humming. A first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. you look middle here, caught by Boyd. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. Open man. He's got Boyd. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Now, second and inches. They'll drop to throw. He's going to get it to Ocampo. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the... It is brought in, in the end zone. Tyler Boyd, touchdown Tennessee. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job, get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive, but now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back, and it's not going to be easy. Vote now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Titans draw closer here. It's 21 to 14.
even with their full complement of timeouts, the close to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. All right, so you take your shot, you don't get it. But now your defense has to save the day. You've got all three timeouts. You've got to get a stop here, force them to punt the ball back, and give your offense a chance to win the game. The Dolphins' offense about ready to take over once more. They'll have a short field, looking to build on the lead. First and ten. On the ground is Ichi. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. Once again, it's HN. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Here's a timeout, Tennessee. It'll be their second. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here. As he's down to a knee. So a win here for the Dolphins. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game. They're going to send their fans home quite happy. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say... Farewell from South Florida.